as a child, I was into math and that's all, all about I know. At that time, I grew up in China, so you really don't have a lot of opportunity to be exposed to different careers. In my undergraduate school, there were about 20 dormitory students. There were like one building for female students. <laughs> so you can see like the, the ratio is definitely favoring male students uh, in engineering school. Why I went to graduate school here at the University of Notre Dame, that's why I really realized that where my passion is. I decided to join Stryker in 2014. At Stryker, we have a wide variety of medical devices and instruments. So we make from hospital beds to a hip and knee implants. These are implants help a patient with osteoarthritis to restore their activity of daily living. So simulation is a unique tool that allows us to learn what's going to happen when we put an implant in the patient well before the clinical study. So it's not that we use just one simulation to design an implant. We use multiple simulations so that we can both understand how the new design is meeting our performance requirement. We can also use simulation to understand what's the risk of other performance issues. So it's a whole system that we have to consider. I think the holy grail, our ultimate goal, is to be able to generate a patient-specific model on the fly. However, right now, the computer cost is a big issue. So I think the right approach is to really generate this library of models. We started from normal, healthy subjects, but they are elderly. They conducted 10 different activities under measurements of fluoroscopy and gait lab motion capture. So we collect a complete set of data on each subject that went through the gait lab. We use that data to calibrate on the model, and then we use the rest of data to validate the model. I think our work will show how the implant and placement work for different activities. A simulation is a way for us to really figure out how to help the surgeons to better position the implant, better take the implant for the patient. There are a lot of simulation softwares out there, but Abacus remains to be the leading software that can solve these challenging problems. We want to stimulate constraint from soft tissue. We want to stimulate a fear of failure, a fracture, viscous elasticity. All these advanced features really require advanced software that has been developed and validated, verified for those applications. So we see Abacus as our high-end simulation software that can help us solve these advanced simulation needs. If you are really interested in solving problems and really interested in developing your skills and keep on learning and never end that process, I think this is the right career. You will never be bored. You will always have brand new perspective, brand new knowledge, and brand new talents to work on. That's what makes me excited about this career, and that's how I sustain myself.